They look at the implementation of the SDG Sustainable Development Goals uh, on all over India, which has to be complied by as per the G20 uh, summit, which was held recently. Basically, the objective of this may be to protect the Mother Earth. And uh, the regulator wants the SDC message to be going to all the sectors of the society and it can be done through ambassadors like you, the student, who will be there for next 30, 40 years or 50 years. And that message and civic sense can be prevailed in the, in the, in the state. So uh, for that purpose, we have few, demo, few demonstrations of the uh, zero, uh, zero carbon credit on energy audit on our campus. I would like to mention them few. Uh, like we have taken up the initiatives in zero carbon credit, that is a, a minimization of the carbon carbon in the atmosphere. Then water harvesting we have demonstrated uh, to recharge the groundwater table. Then we are developing surrounding ecosystem field trips. You know they can go to the nice places on the campus. They can have their field trip. They can have the natural laboratories, and also the it will help us in enhancing the ecosystems on our campus. So I would like to give few statistics on the campus with reference to flora fauna, with, uh, which we have documented in the last energy report. We have floras, total around species of 531, uh, then faunas, 18 species of snakes and 5 species of geckos. Avians, if you see, it is 180 species who are visiting on the campus. Some of them are uh, migratory also, which is 40% of the total state popul uh, avian population, which is 7 476 birds in, in the states are documented. Then 74 species of spiders uh, and 240 species of moth and 90 species of butterflies are there on the campus which is corresponding to 39% of the total state population which are documented in the state. Uh, we are having 300 students on coming on the campus and 900 residents and which are consuming somewhere around 90 liter per day on, on an average water I am talking about. So to, uh, we have to we have our commitment to, uh, uh, to recharge our water tables, you know. And we have two major uh, rainwater harvesting. One we have developed recently, which is uh, uh, having a catchment somewhere around 5,000 square meter. And we are having rooftop harvesting for three buildings, which is collectively giving us the total uh, total uh, uh, recharge of somewhere around uh, somewhere around water corresponding to two months. We are recharging in the. Uh, this is just. I am not telling this. This is a statistic which was given by to me by the geology department who established this particular uh, this. Then, if you see the energy consumption, we are spending nine lakh. We were spending nine lakh in 2019 per month, uh, which we have reduced down to 30 percent in the last uh, few years. I am quite sure, honourable sir, uh, our MP will help us in establishing it to 100 percent. Uh, with uh, some efforts because he is from uh, power, power ministry and with this I will conclude here and pray that more and more initiatives will follow. Thank you. Thank you sir for the information. I now kindly request Shri Kiran Desai sir, Executive Vice President and Site Head at Tech and Fine Chemicals Private Limited Goa to share a few words. Good morning. Uh, Honorable uh, Minister of State for Power, uh, New and Re Energy, uh, New and Renewable Energy, Government of uh, India, Vice Chancellor uh, Mr. Menon, uh, Professors uh, Bernard Narkarni, Guard and Parikar, other staff of uh, Goa University and students. We are, uh, as a Deccan and as uh, personally, I am very delighted to be part of this function. Uh, function to uh, plant more and more trees. Uh, because this is uh, something which is very dear and very close to uh, our heart at Deccan. Uh, we have been taking a lot of uh, initiatives at our site for uh, improving the sustainability in our chemical operations. And some of those uh, were, uh, like last year, we planted 25,000 trees at our site. And out of this, 15 were through uh, a technique, a Japanese technique called Miyawaki. And uh, this is a dense forestation technique where you can plant more number of trees in the same uh, area. And this uh, are really growing very good. 
and I think uh, some of you uh, should really come and have a look at this. Secondly, we are also looking at uh, water conservation. Professor Gar mentioned about it. We have our reservoirs. We collect uh, rainwater during the monsoon and use it throughout the throughout the year. So with this, we are also contributing to conservation of water. Thirdly, we are also um, uh, we have installed solar panels uh, at many buildings of our site and we are generating almost 1.2 million units of electricity every year and we are also um, increasing this solar panel we will also have some ground mount mounted solar panels in next few uh, next few years and our aim is that we will uh, we want to have our total electricity requirement 50% of it coming from renewable energies in the next uh, 3 to 4 years that's our uh, target and for this uh, uh, we are we are uh, doing a lot of initiatives so that we can really um, make this planet earth a better living place for all of us and also for our future generations And uh, our association with uh, Goa University has been very long. Uh, we have been coming here to uh, School of Chemical Sciences every year for recruitment of uh, MSc students, uh, which which has been going on for uh, for almost last ten years. This year, for example, we recruited about ten people, uh, ten students, both in uh, organic as well as in analytical chemistry. Uh, and some of these students from the Goa University are uh, doing very well in the organization and some of them have really risen to very high uh, levels uh, and contributing significantly to the organization success. We have also been currently um, uh, supporting School of Chemical Sciences for increasing their capability. Um, uh, some, some of the chemical uh, labs that they wanted to have, we are uh, supporting and we are helping them, helping them to set it up. And uh, this is this is under progress now. We are also talking to them about uh, uh, having a PhD accreditation program program, uh, which will help uh, students both from university as well as from the from our own organization. So as a our association with always been uh, pretty long with uh, Goa University and when Professor Gard uh, approached us with this project of plantation of trees and making uh, the university campus greener and better, uh, we had no hesitations and we agreed uh, immediately to this uh, program and uh, we are seeing the, the inauguration today and I am pretty sure uh, and I hope that uh, this campus becomes even more beautiful and more uh, and becomes greener in future. And I would like to assure um, university that our association, which has been for a pretty long period, will also continue in the future in a similar way. And whatever projects you have, especially which is related to environment, which is very close to our uh, heart, we would like uh, to contribute whatever we can even in the future. So all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you sir for extending your help and for being part of this plantation drive at Abakova University. Now I kindly request our registrar sir, uh, Professor V. S. Ran Adkarni to address this gathering. Good morning, Honorable Union, Union Minister of State for Power and New uh, and Renewable Energy Government of India and Chief Guest of Today's Function, Sri Sripad Naikji, Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor Menon, which was inaugurated at the August hands of Honorable Minister just before some time, 
near the old computer science uh, block of this university and uh, i am sure all my students have seen the glimpses of what kind of flora and fauna we have had and uh, I, I am again requesting all the students as well to contribute to all these I am sure faculty, I don't have to request because we have always been discussing there and they are taking a very uh, wholehearted, uh, there is a wholehearted participation. But since many of the students, I know they are precious on this campus, uh, I am uh, particularly saying this thing. So uh, I will not take more of your time. We are waiting to listen to uh, our honorable chief guest on this particular occasion. I, I will just congratulate all my team members. I will thank uh, um, uh, Sri Kiran Desai, the Deccan Fine Chemicals for the very generous CSR support they are giving and whatever help he has extended. And sir, we, uh, I mean, look for, you know, continued support in future. And we are, of course, going to help in the way possible. The interaction both sides will continue. Uh, I will also request Honorable Minister, sir, just now Professor Gard said, so the, in, in whatever ways it is possible, uh, we will try to uh, implement more and more such uh, uh, initiatives and we look forward for your support also, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind and motivational word. I now kindly request Honorable Vice-Chancellor of Goa University, Professor Harilal Menon, to address this function. Good morning, Honorable uh, Central Minister, Shri, Central Minister for uh, Power, New and uh, Renewable Energy, Shri Srivath Nayaji, Shri Kiran Deshai, Vice President of Tech and Chemicals, all my colleagues on the dais, off the dais, other officials from Tech and Chemicals, my dear uh, students. I am very pleased to stand here because we have initiated the plantation drive almost two weeks back. And now we are continuing, we have inaugurated the one which has been contributed by the chemicals. In fact, I would say that the two things which we are going to do here are, one is plantation, another one is that University being the beacon of knowledge, innovation and discovery, we have to document that. Because that is where the knowledge lies. For that, we are going to unveil one of the books which has been meticulously crafted due to the hard work of researchers, a team led by none other than our esteemed colleague, Dr. Savanda. Nidin Savanth. Uh, let me tell you when, when I say that uh, plantation, it is not just for the sake of planting. Rather, it really gives the commitment of university for an environmental stewardship. You all know that, in fact, uh, those who are joined uh, at the first semester for PG, of course, you might have heard about sustainable development goals. And in fact, it has to, uh, you know, the start from the academic institution. So that's what we are initiated here. And uh, we have seen a video which clearly shows the faunal diversity, the rich diversity of faunal, uh, you know, the diversity prevailing on campus. But I would say that due to certain developmental activities, I don't want to mention what, some of the trees have been you know, the removed. Of course, you must also say that these are the abode of millions of species. So therefore, I would also request uh, Dr. Nidin Savant to look at what, uh, what is the extinct species extinct? Because that are the, those species where the, the, the campus was the home for them. So please try to have a research on that. We will try to extend all support in terms of funding either from DST Goa or from you know the center because that is the need of the hour. Now when I say that plantation, you know, 
some of the students at least from uh, sciences know that the significance of plant because to mitigate the climate change what is required is that we have to sequestrate carbon dioxide from the atmosphere we have to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere so for that we have something like photosynthesis so we have to have more you know the plants and at the same time you know the uh, the documentation of the same thing so therefore i urge all the students and all the community students and of course the faculty members to you know the uh, move forward in the plantation uh, uh, and then i i mean we are also uh, you know taking an initiative where in we will have 253 plants where we have 253 faculty members so each one would be planting that and they will take care of each plant for the next one year so that so that our campus will be completely greenery and green campus is actually a help towards the green earth and that we will commit ourselves to protect our future generation from any scorching heat or from the global climate changes so i don't want to add anything further we have the uh, right person here with us honorable minister he would be speaking on this but before i close i you know extend my deep sense of gratitude first to the the kan chemicals shri kiran deshai in fact he without any hesitation he had come forward and he said that only one meeting i had with him he said that whatever you want we are there with you thank you sir for that and let me also thank our honorable minister because whenever we want our minister if he is in goa he will say that for any activity of the university i am there so thank you so much for your gracious presence in fact that really inspires us thank you so much